There's no doubt that designer bags are incredibly expensive. But do they really warrant the price tag? In most cases, probably not. There are plenty of cheaper alternatives out there that will just as effectively carry your belongings. Still as stylish and sturdy, just what bags are overpriced to the point where you really have to question whether it's really worth it? Welcome to Luxury Formula. Today, we'll be real and expose a few designer bags that are so ridiculously overpriced, they are barely worth buying. Here are 7 of those overpriced bags you should consider not buying. Number 7. Prada Double Bag This Prada bag sells for $3,800. The bag itself is good. It's large, sturdy, and it can carry lots of stuff. However, the overall design of the bag is generic. You can get something from a different brand at a much lower price point. There really is nothing special to this bag aside from the fact that it's a Prada bag. If we talk about the detachable strap, that sure is a good point of this bag and nothing more. You can definitely buy a bag of the same quality and size for less than $1,000. Not to mention the low resale value of Prada bags. If you decide to sell this bag, you will only get one third of the original price that you paid for, or even lower. Prada bags are just not the it bags at the moment. If you personally love Prada, then there is no judgment in that. Number 6. Chanel Mini Bags Chanel does over great quality but the functionality of some of their bags are rather questionable. Take these mini bags for an example. Mini bags have been a trend and are still at their peak. However, these models are not for everyday use. They are more of an accessory. These mini bags from Chanel will set you back a whopping $4,600. For a bag where you can't even fit your phone, this is insanely expensive. If mini bags are your cup of tea, you can get mini bags from Fendi at a much lower price point. Fendi mini bags sell for less than $1,000. You can also try browsing the mini bags from Dior. They are less expensive than Chanel and in a similar price range as Fendi. Number 5. Louis Vuitton Capuchins Another Louis Vuitton bag has fallen into the depths of overpricing. The LV Capuchins has gotten more expensive than before. True as it may be that LV bags are designed to be worn for years and treasured as a collector's item, the price may be a bit much for some people to afford. Amini Capuchins had a price tag of $4,000. Note that this is the starting price for the Capuchins collection. Larger sizes would sell at a much higher price and different leather materials will also affect the final price of the bag. Currently, Amini Capuchins now sell for $5,200. That is a massive price increase. If we look at this in numbers, that is a 24% increase. A Capuchins BB now sells for at least $5,800. If you are still willing to pay that price for a bag, then go for it. However, you should consider some alternatives before settling on such a pricey bag. You should also note that LV bags do not have the same resale value as Hermes Birkins and Chanel bags. Number 4. Louis Vuitton multi pochette Accessoire Bag Louis Vuitton has made drastic price adjustments lately. In the past, you can purchase a multi pochette for less than $1,500. Now, the updated price tag on this bag is a whooping $2,200. This might not be a huge increase, but the fact that this bag is just pochettes chained up together is a bit of a stretch. This bag is also made from canvas leather, the cheapest leather option in the LV line. The price increase of this bag is definitely caused by the price increase of its own components, the pochettes themselves. Many people are not taking kindly to this price hike. The multi pochette was a trendy bag a couple of months ago and its popularity has died down. It now seems like many people are no longer interested in this bag and will be looking for an alternative instead. 
Those who got this bag when it was launched has either sold off the bag or will be trying to sell it off. Many do not find this bag an essential Louis Vuitton bag and to them, it does not feel like a proper bag at all. Before we proceed with the next bag in line, make sure you're subscribed to our channel to watch more videos like this. Also, please click the notification bell for more updated videos like this. Number 3. Mini Pochette Accessoires In relation to the previous bag, let's compare Mini Pochette prices to observe how price hikes affect them. The Mini Pochette initially cost $340. It was affordable and popular among Louis Vuitton enthusiasts. The mini pochette rose $10 after recognition. Customers were pleased with the $350 bag's value. The bag cost $370 after another $20 price rise. Despite the price increase, the bag became one of LV's best sellers. Another price hike followed. From $370, the bag's retail price was set higher at $445. The $300 mini pochette is now $400. After months, this bag's price was adjusted again. Mini pochettes cost $95 more. For some clients, this sun growth has become more expensive, while for others, this is an affordable luxury worth every penny. If you think $95 is too much for a little canvas bag, LV added $205 to the mini pochette's price. Mini pochette went from $340 to $745. The difference between the original price to the new price tag is quite the shock. Number 2. Dior Book Tote the Dior Book Tote is a sleek and stylish tote that can be slung over your shoulder or carried in your hand like a briefcase. It has been a staple in fashion magazines for many years because of its timeless design. This canvas tote sells for at least $3,000. You can get a great leather bag at that price. Dior does justify this price with the amount of embroidery that goes into this bag. However, you can get pretty much the same bag from other brands at a lesser price. It may not have the Dior logo on it, but it serves the same purpose. One of the alternatives for the Dior Book Tote would be the Saint Laurent Rive Gauche Tote. It's the same size as the Dior Tote and the materials used for this bag do not differ much from the Dior Tote. This YSL Tote costs half the price of the Book Tote, $1,500. Number 1. Chanel Classic Flap The cost of this handbag has recently risen dramatically. No other luxury brand is rising prices quite like Chanel. This bag is essential to many. Bag collectors will always have the Chanel Classic Flap on their list. This bag had a price tag of $8,550 and it is currently priced at around $9,300. There is a 9% increase from its original price. This is quite a substantial rise for such an iconic design. It is quite difficult to justify such a price jump since the Chanel Classic Flap is essentially the exact same bag as before but with a higher price tag. Not to mention, this is only the price of the medium Classic Flap. A medium flap is not nearly enough to carry all the necessary items. Sure, it will store your wallet, card holder, keys, phone, and a few makeup items. But it will not hold much more without looking and feeling overstuffed. The price also does not include tax and shipping. A larger classic flap will, of course, be more expensive than the medium-sized bag. A Chanel purse is now comparable to that of a Birkin. Although both bags are of high caliber and quality, it still seems to off to set the retail price for a readily available bag similar to that of an offer-only Birkin. People are speculating whether the price increase for the classic flap is Chanel's way to make the bag seem more exclusive. It is hard to say for sure since it is not the first time that the brand has raised the price of the bag. However, it does not seem to be more drastic than the previous rises in price. If you are still looking for a Chanel bag, 
there is some alternatives from the same brand that are less expensive but still made with the same quality and similar structure. What do you think about this list? Are you still willing to buy some of these bags? This has been Luxury Formula. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.